If you're still creating presentations like this, my friend, you have to keep up. Today, I will show you how you can transform your boring presentations into something like this in Microsoft PowerPoint. Specifically, you will learn how to morph 3D models and you will learn it under 3 minutes. So let's get started. So I have here a blank slide with a gradient yellow background. Under the Insert tab, click on 3D Models and then select Stock 3D Models. In Microsoft 365, you will be able to search for different 3D models here. For example, let's look for a B 3D model and then insert it. Wait for a moment until it is added to our slide. Once it is added, we can now adjust the size of it by dragging it like this. You can also control the angle of this 3D model by clicking this button here, this button, and then you can rotate it to the left, to the right, or in different angle. Now we have to duplicate this slide in order for us to morph this 3D model. On the second slide, we can resize this 3D model. We also have to reposition our 3D model and then rotate its angle so there will be movement once we add the morph transition later. You can adjust it accordingly here onto our slide. Now we can duplicate this once again and then this time move this 3D element here, rotate its angle to this, and reposition it accordingly. Now let's duplicate it once more and let's move this 3D model here and rotate it like this and that is perfect. Now the next step is to select all the slides and go to the transition tab and then click this morph transition. Make sure that you have selected all slides when you apply the morph transition. So here's the progress so far for the tutorial. As you notice, the 3D elements moves from slide to slide at different angles according to how we set the angle and rotation. You can also add text and additional information for the design of this presentation. And finally, here's the final output for the tutorial. As you can see, the 3D models smoothly move from slide to slide at different angles and rotations, thanks to the morph transition. If you want to learn more about the advanced way of using morph transition, I have a separate video that you can check in the description. So that's basically it. Again, this is Gamo Edits, and thank you for watching.